flag is stuck in a branch. Oh, that's that's why that's all knotted up, isn't it? Because it's saying, left my plug free. There we go. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all for Hello, my welcome back to my channel. So Today I have a Christmas tree. My Christmas tree lost a foot a few years back. And every year we try and make it stand up and this year the thought of doing it again no so i've been looking for a new christmas tree um i didn't want to spend fortunes on some of them are really really expensive but i've come across this in habitat now it's a seven foot green nordland tree and it's pre-lit now i picked this up for 50 pounds, which I thought for a pre-lit seven foot tree is really, really good. So I bought it and when I came home, I thought, I wonder actually for 50 pounds, I'm really hoping that it actually looks like this. So I thought, okay, let's share it. We'll open it up together and actually see if this was a bargain. So, I have a knife. I have a knife. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew. Okay, I know you can't see the box. I broke my tripod today, so you're balancing at the moment until I can actually fix it. So hopefully you'll be able to see. Okay. Okay, we'll actually read the instructions. Okay, so we have some feet. Four feet. Right. Who wants to lay bets on after Christmas if I get it back in this tiny, tiny box? Oh, I've caught up with wires. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the feet up. The girls have said I am not allowed to decorate this at all because they're at school. But no, I'm basically just going to have a look and see what you get for 50 pounds in Habitat. Okay, let's get the feet on. Well, I'm all for Christmas, all the happy... Right, well, it comes in three parts. Okay, I'm a bit concerned, but I'm going to pull up the wires. Uh, it, it looks quite tangled, I'll be honest. So you do this. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, you're thinking, should have read the instructions. Please be worth the 50 pounds because I don't want to try and put you back in the box. Okay. Oh, we have a big bundle of wire mess over here. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew. I think you're really bored just watching this tree go boing boing. Okay, it 
is just a mass knot of wires in the back here. To be honest, I've never bought a through lit tree, so this might actually just be normal and I'm just making a big deal out of it. Because I don't do that, do I? I never make a big deal about anything. Um, okay. Plug is stuck in a branch. Oh, that's that's why that's all knotted up, isn't it? Because it's saying, let my plug free. There we go. Okay. Now there's a plug that goes into another right, so that's got to go that way. Okay, we'll get, oh, is it that way? No, there. It just seems really knotted up. Is it meant to be? Am I actually undoing this strategically fed wire? You're missing. I will keep you warm as long as you will. It's tall. Don't suppose we're going to actually know how good it is until we've opened all the branches out. So, here goes. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I wish when I open the branches out, it might be a thing everybody does but I open them out in like a bit of a a fan at the front so that it looks bigger than what it is anyway I do that one up one down it's amazing do you do yours like that let me know if there's a really good way to make your trees look really really bushy been playing around with this tree for quite a while it doesn't look that much like the picture now i dare say they would have people in to make their trees look amazing and who wouldn't okay but okay this is what it looks like on the box okay so there's no decorations on it or anything now Now that's what mine looks like. It's a lovely big tree. It really is. But, I mean, if you look, I really have pulled the branches out as much as I can. And there is a lot of balding branches. moment the video is about is it value for money because habitats a nice make you know i've got lovely dinnerware from there and everything i, I love it at the moment a bit disappointed i'm going to carry on and see how much better i can get it hmm. To be fair, I've just had a thought. I could use some of the branches from my original tree to put in between and make it really, really full. Because it's my 
nice tree and this it has four feet it is a nice tree it is and christmas trees can be really stupidly expensive it's something you have up for a couple of weeks or like me a couple of months but i would love to know how they got it to look like that in the picture because it's not happening for me am i doing this wrong is there a nap Doing it, I thought I had a pretty good now. Let me try and bend these up. But I think, I think what I might do is put in some branches. My other tree had branches that hooked into the stem trunk, whatever you want to call it. So I might try and do that. Try and just to really pull it out because I just wanted it to look really really full this year yeah so I think that is my next I think what I will do though is check out the lights because I'll be honest this wire is all over the place it is just literally like someone's just thrown it and yeah, it's fit um, but it could be very strategically placed water. Let's have a look. Okay. I believe I have a free plug socket here. I don't know how much we'll see in the daylight, let's be honest. Quite nicely lit. That's that's nicely lit. Yeah, I can go with this. That's just the bald area. Goodness me, it just didn't seem like. I mean, okay, I'm gonna show you here. Look, there was literally not much to play with to bend branches. Hmm. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is go and get some more branches from the other tree and uh, see if we can fill it out. Because I do like it. It's a nice tree. It's great size. I do like it. So let's see if we can make it fabulous. Christmas tree branches. I have cable ties and I have scissors. Let's do this. Okay, so I've put in three branches in this region here, and I've, I've only tied it with one cobra tie because I don't want them very visible. Um, so let's fill these out. Slightly different green, but yeah, trees aren't always the same green. See these, my old tree, have got a lot more branches to actually pull out. These were very sparse with what they give. Oh, I see, that's looking better, isn't it? I'll go this side. I don't need to do it the whole way around, as long as the front looks really really full my daddy said I was a genius <laughs> well that definitely looks fuller maybe I can 
threadle. Threadle, that's a good word, isn't it? Some of the lights through there. Does that look better? Please tell me it does. I'm going to go over here and have a quick look. I think it does. Okay, I'm going to work my way up. The top is actually okay, it's this area here. So I'm going to work with this and I'll see you in a minute. It definitely has made a difference. It looks so much fuller. But it is a really, really tall tree. It wasn't as bushy as the picture. We can see that. But I was a little bit optimistic anyway, as I said. Do I think it's worth money? I think yes, because trees can be really, really expensive and, you know, you, you do have to play around with them. For a habitat tree, £50 I thought was really a bargain anyway. So I am really, really happy with it. I'm happier now. I have played around with it and I will keep playing around with it. The girls are going to decorate it, which I will video and put it on. So then you will see it in all its glory. But if you do want to go and buy a tree and you don't want to spend hundreds, £50, it is a good tree. It just needs playing with a lot. But it is a good tree because we wanted something quite tall and full. As I say, we've just used the spare branches from the tree that we're not using anymore. So I will not be returning it. So therefore, I believe that, yeah, 50 quid's fine and I shall carry on adding branches in little board patches. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you if you are going out to buy a new tree. Um, there are so many around. Um, last year I did get one off eBay and yeah, you could tell. Really, it wasn't expensive. I got a smaller tree as an extra tree. You could tell I bought it as an extra tree. So I wanted to actually look properly this year. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with it and it'll be perfect when it's finished. So I hope this has helped. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you for the decorating of the tree. Don't forget to like, please subscribe and I will see you again very soon.